Hello, my name is Jeremiah Simeon, and I want to take you to a place where we as human beings are dying to know. Is there life after death with beyond the grave? Hopefully my viewers will watch it and you will see. Is there life after death with beyond the grave? There are people in the world who claim to have special equipment to be able to find spirits, apparitions, entities. And I guess the question would be is, is it true? Some people have ESP that they're able to feel spirits, detect spirits, can understand them or try to understand them if it's possible. I feel as though that some things people shouldn't be messing with or dealing with. Some things should be dangerous or have a warning that says dangerous do not enter. In today's modern society, it looks like a lot of people are dying in this world. I suppose the truth is, is that not one of us can escape death. We're humans with physical bodies. And these spirits, apparitions, or entities have spiritual bodies. I suppose the question is, is can they influence our journey through life? Is it possible? Is it possible to see people who have died, their spirits, other entities? Is there any way we, as human beings, have the ability to have second sight, if you want to think about it? I suppose life has so many things to offer us as humans, especially the materialistic, those who appreciate the value of the wealth of this world. Some people in this world appreciate nature, which is all around us. But when you die, does the spirit itself, is it have any worries, cares? Does it have any love? Are these spirits trying to protect us in any way? Is it possible? I suppose the answers to all of these questions is for the viewer to decide. That, my friends, is the question life after death is there life after death is there something beyond the grave for us as humans or mortals it's hard to decide it's hard to figure out who has the answers in this world that is for us to decide As I even recall from myself having a, a, a ghostly experience, I feel as though that even though I've had that before, I kind of didn't understand it then. 
I suppose as you get older, you probably do understand it at some point in your life, but maybe you don't. And I suppose the questions can be is, if there is life after death, then where do we go? Is there a judgment day? Will they have a rapture in this world? A lot of people want to know what is the end of mankind. I feel as though that every culture in the world had an end. If you look it through history, every culture did have an end. The Romans, Greeks, uh, the Minoans, all these other different cultures had an end to it. What the end was? Well, the end was either their culture had been wiped out totally or they had been enslaved and killed. So I feel as though with every culture in the world, especially human beings, we usually are the ones that die out. But as human beings, we do leave certain stories behind. It could be drawings, it could be anything, it could be artwork left behind for other people to see. Just as the Mayans did as well. And just as the Europeans and the Africans in centuries ago, especially people in the Middle East, where we left something for others to see and hopefully for others to understand in this world. I feel as though that we have an obligation to read these historical stories to try to find out what happened to these cultures and is there any way that we as human beings be able to figure out how can we avoid a cultural wipeout or how can we afford destruction of our human culture. That is the question. When a person look in the mirror, what do you see? Some people see many things in this world. But I think I could see a young person, an elderly person that worked hard in their life, had a lot of experience. I suppose the question is, is what does a person see when they look in the mirror? Do they see themselves? Do they see someone else? Those questions that I've posed to the viewers, those are the questions that we as human beings have to figure out that's basically the questions about is there life after death when a person takes a journey through life I suppose that we as humans when we on the road of life as we're driving if you think about it do we as humans have to think about certain things like red lights, stop signs, things like that? Or is it like second nature? We don't even have to think. We just know. Also, when people talk about seeing spirits or apparitions or entities as they're driving. It could be on the road, it could be on the highway, it could be in their houses, especially old houses, things like that. Are they seeing these spirits? Or is it what's in their mind? I suppose that some people think that the brain or the mind can play tricks on a human being. Is that possible? I suppose when you think about it, maybe so. It could be. Maybe not. People don't really understand what they see. 
if they see. Think about it. If you're thinking about a crime in progress, how many people recall the events that happened? Is it possible for them to recall certain events? Can they really remember everything that happened? When they go to a precinct or police station and there's a lineup, can each individual pick out the guilty one or the guilty parties? Is it possible for the mind or the brain to understand what's going on? That, I feel, that is the question that we have to answer. When a person takes a journey through life, I suppose that we as humans, when we're on the road of life, as we're driving, if you think about it, do we as humans have to think about certain things like red lights, stop signs, things like that? Or is it like second nature? We don't even have to think. We just know. Also, when people talk about seeing spirits or apparitions or entities as they're driving, it could be on the road, it could be on the highway, it could be in their houses, especially old houses, things like that. Are they seeing these spirits or is it what's in their mind? I suppose that some people think that the brain or the mind can play tricks on a human being. Is that possible? I suppose when you think about it, maybe so. It could be. Maybe not. People don't really understand what they see, if they see. Think about it. If you're thinking about a crime in progress, how many people recall the events that happened? Is it possible for them to recall certain events? Can they really remember everything that happened? When they go to a precinct or police station and there's a lineup, can each individual pick out the guilty one or the guilty parties? Is it possible for the mind or the brain to understand what's going on? That, I feel, that is the question that we have to answer. When people watch different documentaries, different shows about apparitions of spirits or entities are some of the stories true to the fact well I have seen some of these shows and it's hard to really tell it's I guess it's hard to grasp the knowledge of life after death I guess since we are as I said before physical beings or mortals it's hard to understand the immortalized world or the spiritual world. It's hard to really grasp knowledge of these other worlds. Some people think there are many dimensions in this world. Who is to say what anyone or what one person or different individuals should believe? That, I suppose, is the question. That gives us the insight, I suppose, as human beings, that there is something after death, that there is life, and that there is something else beyond our physical realm. In this world, 
that we roam in? Is there a spiritual world that these spirits roam in? Is there spirits looking for something? Is there a message they're trying to relate to us? What are they telling us as human beings? If these spiritual beings exist, that's the question, I suppose. So hopefully, as different people are watching this documentary, I'm hoping that people may understand whatever it is they want to understand. And I myself will try to unlock whatever information there is. And hopefully, in the long run, we as human beings will have more knowledge about different things in this world. Hopefully.